Welcome everybody to this announcement video for the brand new community server. As you might have guessed by the title, it is going to be Revenge of the Sea Team. Figured it was a pretty good fit considering it is a brand new pack only just launched. So we can maybe jump on the hype train for that one. But if anybody who's been around for a while will remember that our last server was, was Attack of the B Team. So I thought Revenge of the Sea Team would be a very natural progression. So what this video is going to do is it's going to explain to you guys how to get the launcher, how to get the pack, how to install it properly, and how to get on the server. If you already know how to download a, uh, a launcher and install a mod pack, then you can click this button here to skip to how to get on the server. Or you can click this button here to skip to how to install the pack. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to search for the AT launcher on google all one word just ignore that should you mean that click at launcher to go to the home scroll uh, don't scroll at the bottom at the top here click downloads scroll down to windows.exe and click that once you have the launcher.exe all right so one thing you need to do is already have a folder set out so you want to go new folder call it something like at launcher and then you want to drag your downloaded file into that and then run it again so you drag your downloaded folder into there and it should bring it up like this at launcher double click it click run and it'll install the launcher in that folder right there and then it'll run it like that give it some time to run I'm going to actually cancel this because I already have it installed. Then you can just put a shortcut on your desktop, which is right here. So, double-click that to run it. It'll run the AT launcher. And this is the how to get the pack part of the video. So, firstly, you go to packs. You can either scroll down until you find Revenge of the Sea Team. It's not very far down, or you can just type in here, Revenge and it'll bring it up. So what you want to do is click the button New Instance. You want to have version 0 0.4, call it whatever you like. Click Install. There's already an install. Alright, I already have it installed, so we'll just change its name ever so slightly. So Java 8 is required. So if you don't have Java 8, go and update your Java right now. Uh, you can find other instructional videos on how to do that. Just click OK. Now, any of these extra buttons here, do not tick any of those and just click install and it'll go through the installation process of downloading and installing the pack again i'm going to cancel because i already have it downloaded and installed once it is finished downloading and installing underneath packs you find a button called instances if you click that you will find all of your installed instances and then all you do is find revenge of the sea team it might be the only one you've got click play an update is available yes we should probably update that because i haven't yet So we have automatic updates for the server enabled, so you should, uh, no problem whatsoever, just be able to update your pack whenever you like. So it generally takes a little bit of time to start up, so if you bear with me, we'll come right back once this has started up. So here we are back. We have Revenge of the Sea Team up and running. Don't worry if it takes a little bit to get started. There is a decent amount of mods in here, as you can see. Uh, 138 active mods, so it is quite a big pack. Right, so how to get on the server, you click multiplayer, I already have it there, so I'll just go ahead and delete it, and then we can uh, show you how to set it up. So, you want to click add server, in there you can call it anything you like, uh, most awesome server ever. Right, the server address is, get your pens and papers out now, ladies and gentlemen, although this will be in the description as well, it is mc dot screen reality.com so that is mc.screenreality.com click done as you can see most awesome server ever there is one of 50 people online it is mighty shrew you hit join server give it a moment to load in because it does take a little bit of time so you can go ahead and add the server at any point at the moment we are still working on the spawn and I don't want to give too many spoilers away, but uh, we're still working on the spawn at the moment. I don't want to look uh, too much at anything. So this is the spawn area. You will be able to, like I said, you will be able to add the server and everything uh, right now. But uh, 
Uh, the server is whitelisted until it launches on Saturday evening. It will be launching on Saturday evening around about 6 or 7 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. So... That is it for this very quick instructional video. If you've got any questions, stick them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to add as many, answer as many as I can. Just bear in mind that I'm not here to be Minecraft tech support or mod pack tech support, uh, but I can help you out with problems with the server. So, thanks for watching everybody and I hope to see you on Saturday evening and beyond.